so mm. that at any one time mm. a woman's mind will be able to uh, um what's the word to accommodate mm. five times more mm. than what a man can accommodate talking about unmasking so what do you think your wife can't handle you'll be shocked yeah let me just move this in a different direction mm. last week i had a let me call it a bitter discussion with some guys in a guess what uh bible study group mm. on whatsapp because i was reading that scripture i think in, in second chronicles or something like that where this guy called david we talked about david today mm-hmm. his biggest project in life at that moment in time was to bring the ark of the covenant to his city that's right right mm-hmm. and he tried it the first time a guy got killed because mm-hmm. they were doing it the wrong way he tried it the second time he succeeded and he was so joyous he was dancing and dancing and dancing and guess what there was a woman his wife the one he was supposed to have married first or second whatever his first cut yeah she looks at he at him from a window and she sees him rejoicing and and doing all that stuff and kingly stuff yeah his dancing was not yeah modest. that is according to her because nobody else is reported to have given that feedback that feedback was contextual to her to her own thinking right in fact in her in her feedback he was naked mm. if you study he wasn't because an effort was something that people mm. normally used to wear he was yeah, naked nothing and but right now if you if you talk to a christian he will tell you david danced naked until he was naked until his robes fell no it's not written that way that was what michael david's wife said and she spoke to him after he'd come back mm. she said you belittled yourself you behaved Uh, stupid uh, and in and the in the, in the, in the presence of maids in the presence of other girls and so on and the explosion of emotions in david because he basically whatever he told her was deep he said i will be even much more undignified than this in fact he was saying you you you, you think this is this is uh, being undignified this is what i have decided to do this is what i will do and i will do it again and again and again because it matters to me this is something that was so close to david's spirit david's heart it matters to me right and then he said that um the okay whatever it is he said but at the end of the day that so chapter that ends these people whom you say yeah i have disp- i've disrespected myself in the presence of yeah they will call me honored right you you see the difference there the the man wants the the validation from his 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 love and so on, even though they were not with together for 10 years or something like that but the scripture ends by saying that michael david's wife never had children to the day of her death i think you have a revelation about that what does it mean i have always been arguing with guys because when the bible talks about barrenness it is not scared about talking about mar- barrenness talking about the wife to, we know to people whose whose wombs have been closed exactly opened. exactly in fact the bible is very explicit in saying that whoever's womb was open whoever's womb was closed right from rebecca she was barren she cried to the god uh, to to hannah she was barren to i mean very many women the word barren is used but when it comes to this instance it just says she had never kids. had kids Why is that? I've always deduced that there was a breakdown between those two guys. Because to to uh, to add uh, unto it, there was Abigail also. Abigail was one of his wives. It doesn't it doesn't mean that he was without a wife if Michael was uh, you know looking down upon upon him. But my idea was this, what if what do you think would have happened if the opposite feedback was what Michael had given? as in he would have, she would have told him i mean that was awesome she would have known that this is his main project his main work the thing that he really wanted to do and she would have spoken positively into it mm. right and probably if she has these misgivings she would have handled it 
probably in a, in a different way, a softer way, whatever sneaked it in and so on. I, I'm thinking that the Delilah, Abigail, Michael kind of scenarios are very powerful in terms of a man unmasking and a man being the man that he's supposed to be. The man is a warrior, yes, but he needs to hear some of these things from the woman. So what, what you're saying is that there's a likelihood that the day um, Michael disrespected the person mm. of David mm. and dishonored him, mm. he never touched her again. That's what I'm saying. That is that is my own deduction. You, the Bible is an open book for interpretation. Because in my own interpretation, there was no other place that it says whoever, whoever did not have kids until they die. It normally gives a reason. It normally says he was, she was barren or God closed her womb. In this case, God is not even mentioned. It just says that she did not have kids. Why would the commentary? I, 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 want, us to, I want us to take that example and bring it home. That uh, it seems that first and foremost, David said, "Whom was I dancing before?" Maids. Uh uh-uh. God. To the Lord. Yeah, yeah. So, if a man knows who he is in God, in God, anyone who tells him otherwise is you going can. to lose favor. Why? Because our truth is established. Yeah. The pursuit of a man will determine one, the company he keeps. He keeps. Yeah. Two, the things he shares. Yeah. Yeah. And the battles. Yeah. He's willing to fight. Yeah. So if this woman is not in sync with that revelation, with that, that tr- truth, yes. It's over. You stay on the power or not? step behind and this is what has happened with many 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 relationships Mm. that a woman is with a man Mm. and she's seeing a struggle Mm. yeah or maybe like she does not see that the struggle is part of the man Mm. so when she focuses on the struggle she does not see she speaks on the struggle she doesn't speak to the man yes but probably like you said earlier on michael's thought of who david should be should have been behaving like a regal king you know dressed in purple and masks. with the with the with all those masks you know walking around you know being you know in in his stature as a king maybe that's what the woman wants to see in the man and yet david said the women you say have disrespected myself in front of mm. will call me honored mm. why because he was authentic mm. before his maker is mm. this a thing mm. if a woman came out of a man as the bible teaches mm. some people say different but if mm. a woman came out of the man the man came out of someone mm. Right. Mm. So the man's first and foremost vision mm. should be on his origin. Mm. If a man's focus is clear and in understanding who he is, his purpose as a man, not as a man of God, as God's man. Mm. God's man is a kind of man upon whom the hand of God is mm. for whose vision it is clear mm. once that man is locked in on that mm. everything else is a distraction and guess how sad it is mm. when men end up in a relationship or in a situation where their marriage is a distraction from their purpose as in where the wife cannot speak to his purpose where his his surroundings cannot speak to his purpose mm. so that even when he is wounded Mm. They cannot separate he, he, he his weakness in that moment. He can his... find safety in his woundedness from from her. He he finds it in in someone else's laps, someone yeah. else's uh, bar or whatever exactly. it is. And and those people are out to get the man. But probably others are not even out to get the man. Maybe they're just in love with the man and they they see the king in the man. 
Thank you. And they speak to the king in the man, and they speak to the warrior in the man. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You know, there was a time. Yeah. This is me now being vulnerable. Mm. There was a time in that time when I was going through a, a traumatic marriage mm. before it ended. Mm. So it was a season of, again, it's a breakup. Mm. And I met this girl mm. in a bar. Mm. And, yo, she saw me. Mm. As she knew you're broken. They looking at me and a yeah. hot dude, no yeah. cool dude. Yeah. But the next week when we had, actually when we went and, and we talked, mm. she spoke to my heart. She yeah. saw the good man. Yeah. That I was struggling to be mm. in spite of my yeah. weaknesses. Yeah. While my ex could only see the, the evil the man. The evil man, yeah. And this girl got my attention. Mm. And I told her, yo, no one has said to me the words that you have said. And at that moment in time, it doesn't matter if she has big boobs. It doesn't really matter. No. Right. She just made me feel known, feel safe. Yeah. And feel wanted. Wanted. Mm-hmm. You get it? Mm. And I felt safe. Mm. And we went ahead to have a relationship. Did you unmask? I did. And right. this is a strange thing. Yeah. While with her, I discovered how cruel mm. and how evil I could be. Mm. Why? Because first and foremost, when we met, mm. she saw the mask. Mm. But looked beyond it. Mm. So as the relationship pro- uh, progressed, progressed, mm. like masks kept coming off, kept mm. coming off, kept coming off, and mm. until we went through the onions of my mm. vitriol and, and and what's the word cruelty. Mm. And honestly, I was shocked mm. at how cruel I could be. Mm. But it took. Being safe and being no, and just someone being there and saying, <laughs> "I'm not buying these tricks, this yeah. stuff, this macho stuff that you're doing." Yeah, you're a good man yeah. going through a bad situation. Yeah, and she just spoke, and I thank God for that season of life mm. because if I had met a Delilah on the other hand, mm. oh, it would be a different story. Be a different story. So I, I say this to bring. To bring to front the the power of a woman who has vision mm. that goes beyond the veneer mm. of the mask to see the purpose mm. of the man mm. and calls that out. Because that allows the man to feel safe because carrying vision as a man is one of the heaviest burdens. Mm. You get to provide mm. for your family, to to see that your family has a, has has a future. Let me ask you this question: mm. it, it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be a bad thing for I don't know a man to expect his woman to mama him. Mm-hmm. I told you men like boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying that what we are describing here it feels like the woman should be a mom to the warrior yes because should he keep mom you're no way to losing him so this advice of people saying that i am not your mother or don't think don't look for your mother in your wife what, what, what do you think about that advice Psychologically, it is hard to justify, mm. but the reason why it's like that mm. is because women are today, one, fatherless, mm. two, many times, mm. fathers themselves. Mm. So when you come to an overwhelmed, underloved woman, Mm. looking for pampering it's not there Mm. so this goes out to men 
This I learned from my father. Mm. That love is like a bank. Mm. 